what's been up with you since the last time we saw you? Since the last time, let's see, I had moved on into my promotion, so into my new role as the program manager. Um, and that's been fun. It is growing me. I've had a lot of growing pain um, as of recent with these uh, newer changes, if you will. Um, I'm learning, what's the word? I'm learning how to deal with adversity in a different way. Uh, I'm learning how to deal with conflict outside of a romantic relationship, outside of like my parents, outside of friendship. And so I'm learning it in the line of business and that, whoa, Jesus, is having to work with me because it's, it's, it's a challenge for me. I don't, I'm not a big confrontation person. Um, and so that has been, that's been a new, that has truly been a new, it is something that, like I said, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, so the Lord is sure enough working with me on that one. <laughs> no doubt about it because oh we I've had moments where I've I've called my boss and I'm just like listen I need to talk me off this hill because I'm up here right now and I'm ready to jump like can we talk through this because I don't know what to do I I'm feeling like I need to run away like help me please and she reminds me regularly, like, e, this is not personal. Remember that, it's not personal. And I would have never given you a promotion if I didn't think that you could handle it. Okay. I'm climbing off the hill now. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, so that that has been, that has truly been something. Uh, I mean, I I had to talk to my mom through a lot of this stuff because she's been in, in uh supervisor manager roles before and so she's had she she's she's done it all um i've had to talk to my husband about it because he's been in different positions like this and i mean i've been in these positions but it's different before it was working with students you know and it, it's a lot easier for me to correct my students mm. but uh but working with or being a supervisor of a peer, man, that's a challenge. It's a challenge. So that's that's been the new. That's been the newness. But nonetheless, it's all been well. It's all been well. Can't complain. Let me think. Is there anything else I, I told The last time I was on was in early June or May. Um, nope. That's about it. Okay, that's about it. Okay, yeah, like it's it's always kind of crazy, um, especially at work and things like that. Like when when you get that that change and position, the things that you see, it's almost like nothing can really prepare you for it till you actually put your feet in the shoes. Yep, literally. literally. And then, like you know, like say you're watching that type of thing on TV, um. And you're like, oh, I would have did this. I would have did this. Ain't no way this person would talk to me like this. But then, like, when you're actually in the position and it's like, you're caught off guard. And you're like, well, damn. What happened to the, where where the feist that I had go? What am I supposed to do with it? You know? Yeah. That, it, it's a, it's a learning lesson for sure. It's been a learning curve. Yeah. But, I mean, it's one that I'm taking with grace. And just kind of learning it as I go and trying not to put, you know, too much pressure on myself. Like, okay, it's okay. We're growing. We, we've we said that we want to grow. We And this is a part of the growth. I mean, you can't ask God for all these different things. And then when he gives them to you, now you're trying to run away. Like, what, what are you doing? So that, that's where I'm at right now. I ask now. It's at my doorstep, and so now, that could have been bad. Um, yeah. So now it's like we're taking it for what it is. Yeah, yeah, and that's again. I think 
said this before on one of our episodes, though. But it's just remembering that when you're in a certain position, you're not there for no reason. Like, it's just like, if I'm here, like, I must be here for a reason. I must have everything that I need to be equipped for what it is that I'm experiencing right now. So right. hopping off of the hill, because, you know, it's easy to go up the hill. But, like, when you come down from it, it's just like, all right, let me let me come down because I know if I'm here, we're good. Is I I'm there's some way to navigate through. Like I don't have to run away from. Right. And I think that's right. one of the most like an important lesson of my life in those ghetto twenties of mine. Like <laughs> um like not run just not running from the challenge, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The, the challenge that we're facing now and like I guess that's a perfect segue into the topic of today's episode, right? Because I remember telling my dad this the other I remember telling my dad this the other day because now I'm prepping this expo that we keep talking about, the Emerging Business Leaders Expo that's happening on the yeah. St. Louis, Missouri from eleven to four. That one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> so that 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 expo that's happening. I'm preparing myself and it's my first event like this in this capacity. Yeah. And I'm telling myself like, you know, initially I can say, okay, this is an event and you have to do the event and then it's done. But, you know, at the same time though, it's me wrapping my mind around like, no, this is the beginning. This is your first of many. This is your And don't stop here. Exactly. Like this is a thing that you do. So, you know, I'm saying this is the first step you get to do it in your comfort zone with people that, you know, though, it's outside of your comfort zone to do something like this. You're still in your comfort zone because, you know, a lot of the people that are actually putting this on. So you get to do it in a comfortable yet uncomfortable space. It's still safe. But, you know, after that, there are going to be ones that aren't so safe. So take this, make the best of it, learn from it, because it's good. Mm-hmm in it and like the I, the whole concept of that like for me it's the networking part where it's just like i'm excited to be yeah. networking and meeting all these people but at the same time i am terrified because of the unknown oh yeah and i think i think that makes sense but like you were saying you know you're equipped for any position like you you've got to be equipped for the position or like God wouldn't let you go there. And if you're not, I mean, he's sending you there so that you can be equipped for what is to come, you know? Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for you. Although, thank you. That's going to be really fun. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I'm a, but, I'm, but, no, what were you saying? No, I just said I'm excited. Go ahead. That's good. That is really good. Well, I guess we're segueing right on into it. Yeah, we are. You know what I'm saying? Because when you think of something like networking at least for me so when i'm thinking about my approach to networking who comes to my mind obviously it's the fearless key <laughs> you know the network hey now the the, the the networking liaison of thinking versus speaker so oh <laughs> <laughs> me so that's what so that's what i want to talk about because it, it's a theme that's been coming up a lot just in my own journey and I know it's something that people can get a little apprehensive about people being me in this case um you know what I'm saying I want to talk a little bit more about it so like what is what would you consider your relationship with networking like you know when you hear the word networking what comes to your mind I get giddy I get all excited I get super giddy like like a little kid Uh like oh shoot I get to go out and talk to people I get to go and tell people about whatever it is going on. Okay, yeah, it's up. Um, truly, that's how I get. Like, oh, they want me there. Okay. Uh, so it's like, it's just exciting, to say the least. Um, but then it's like, okay, let me figure out what I'm actually going to go do. You know, like, okay, let's let's be for real, for real now. Cause, like, we got there's there's a reason. You know, let's let's take it as serious as possible. Or whatever the case might be um but yeah i get really excited and then then it's time to think okay what is my plan how how am i going to approach this uh i have to remember like 
there's going to be people that are not, that might not be as comfortable as you are at these events. How are you going to talk to them? Like, I mean, you know, it, it's just a quick thought more or less for me. Like, okay, what's the move? Um, and then it's showtime. It, it go out there and find somebody that you love, not like romantically, but like find somebody that you, you vibe with and, and see what happens from there. And then also while you're there, make somebody else, you know, love you and want to vibe with you too. Yeah. Like that's my layman terms of way of saying it. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's so crazy. Cause it actually reminds me of a party that I went to, um, it was a it was for a friend that I hang out with on a regular basis. Actually, a coworker, a, one of those coworker yeah. things that happened. I get that. I get that. Yeah, he threw like this house party or whatever, and I remember it's just like, bro, you literally don't know anybody here but him, like anybody. Mm -hmm. So I remember I'm just kind of like standing, and I'm just people watching because that's my thing in a crowd. I'm a people yeah. watch. And I'm just standing and I'm people watching. And then I see, like, I look across the room and I see this other lady and she's people watching too. And I was just Them your people. <laughs> That's my person. That's the person that I'm going to go say hi to. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're on the same type of vibe. And by the end of the night, I realized we had a lot in common and I actually got her number. You know what I'm saying? It is just like, yo, like, bet, like. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and actually, she's a person that does. This was in my the beginning before I when I was starting a podcast, and she actually helps people yeah. who are entrepreneurs or coming into entrepreneurship. She's a coach, and it's just like, oh, that, that was something that I need. Those type of people, uh -huh. right? right. <laughs> exactly. But you know, it wouldn't have happened if I wasn't willing to one put myself in a in that position you know to go to a place where I know I'm not going to know anybody or you know you know whatever and then two to go up to that person who you know I'm saying hey like what's like you and, and, and make that small talk because personally I hate small talk yeah I can see that let's get <laughs> please tell me your life let's get right into it but instead it's like Oh, maybe you don't want to go right into it. Okay. Let me respect that. Yeah, I, I can do that. Yeah, yeah. Because, I, cause I, I, you know, personally, me, I do, I really do hate small talk. Like, I don't want to sit and talk about the weather unless we're talking about <laughs> weather in the very, like, unless we go all the way left with this conversation, unless we're about to get real deep about this weather conversation, like, I don't want to talk about those kind of things. Like, I want to talk about deeper things. So, like, for me, I like, always struggle because it's just like, I don't know what to say to people. Like, mm -hmm. even in those situations. So, like, what do you say to people who are just like, I don't know. Like, I want to network, but, like, how do I even do it? I'm glad that you asked that. Uh, like I was telling you before we had actually got started, I'm working on this presentation and hoping that it... uh hoping that it becomes a passive source of income, but that's neither here nor there. Um, but it's literally like a guide to networking. Like how, like what do you, how you start this? Um, and so my, my thing would be find somebody that, that you look like that, what you kind of judge in a book by its cover. Sorry, I could not get that out of my mouth. Um, kind of judging a book by its cover and you're taking a guess when we're in, Okay, this person kind of looks like they're cool. Like, this looks like somebody that I could talk to. Let me go up and look at them and see what I like about them. But you got to do this quick. So, like, if they got on some shoes that you like, yo, I really like your shoes. Where'd you get them from? That's it. It's that simple. You know what I'm saying? And now you're now you're saying, oh, so what brings you what brings you to this event? Or what brings you to this party? Or what? Who do you know here? Have you ever been in this before? I mean, it's literally just. It's almost like. Have you ever done speed dating before? Or like, you know the concept of speed dating. Like when you sit down with these people across from each other and you're you're spitballing questions back and forth, trying to get to know them real quick. Like, I mean, I've never speed dated before. But um, it's kind of that concept. You know what I'm saying? Like you're asking real quick questions. I mean, of course, you know, you want to hear what the person is saying. 
but that's that's my way of starting like different conversation and like getting that insight more or less it's just like all right there's a chance that i might embarrass myself and there's a chance that i might come out with a good friend would am i am i going to be brave enough to go for it yeah i'm going to be brave enough to go forward and see what happens yeah but yeah it's in my mind, it's literally just trying to make things as casual as possible. You know, like, I mean, even if it's a formal event, like I had a, we had a, I had to go to an event. Lord, please let me get these words out of my mouth. I had to go to an event um, and it was called the Balance of State. And so it's a really important meeting, basically, um, for a different nonprofit so on and so forth and i'm like yo i have never been to one of these this is not a part of my job description i have no idea what i'm doing however the person that normally would do this is not available so they need me to step in um and so i put it in my mind that okay this is just network people like you're you're getting ready to go in here and you're not going to know a single soul in there i did end up knowing a few souls in there um and then those souls ended up introducing me to some other souls, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but just going in with an open mind and not not the mindset of, hey, I got to be here. I got to do this. Like, I really want to go home. Like, that's easy. You know what I'm saying? But like, in my mind, if when the, something that my coach used to tell me, my boxing trainer, he would tell me all the time, Key, you're doing it. And if it were easy, everybody would be doing it in, in relation to boxing. And so I keep that same mentality and same mindset when it comes to going out and having conversations with people. It's like, either they're going to love me or they're not. And if they don't, I I didn't, it's not like I gained anything. I didn't lose anything. You know what I'm saying? And then if you gain a connection, you gain something. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like a game. I don't know. It's hard, like it's kind of hard for me to explain because it's something that I do so mindlessly, and it's it's a natural thing. Like I mean, when I when I hit you up, like I mean, yes, somebody connected to you, but like in my head, it's like, well, she could either say no, or she could say yeah. Let's let chop it up and see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like it's like either I'm not gonna lose anything, but I might gain something. Exactly. So that's kind of the mentality that I have when I. When I go forward with with networking in particular, 